Before you get started, make sure that your rack is in the middle of the oven and preheat the oven to 450 degrees. Now dice the potatoes in about half inch pieces. Next, we're going to peel and mince our ginger until you have about one teaspoon. Pick off about a teaspoon of the rosemary leaves and then mince it. Now we're going to zest about a quarter of the lemon. Okay, take a pot and fill it with enough water to cover the potatoes by about two inches. Go ahead and salt your water. You're going to want to pat your pork dry with some paper towels and then season each side with salt and pepper. Add some olive oil to your pan. <laughs> in and brown it on all sides. Grab your tongs. Meanwhile, make sure you're paying attention to your potatoes. Once that water comes to a boil, you're going to want to set a timer for 15 minutes. Once the pork's been browned on all sides, you're going to want to grab a cooking sheet, spray it with some non-stick cooking spray, and place your pork onto the baking sheet. Place your green beans on the opposite side of the baking sheet and put it in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes until your pork is cooked through and the green beans are tender. In the pan you used to cook the pork, put a little bit more olive oil and heat it up. So we're gonna set the oven to simmer and then we're gonna add our rosemary and ginger and cook until it's fragrant. And you could just move it around in the pan so it doesn't start to stick. Stir in your jam, mustard, stop, concentrate, and one fourth cup of water and simmer until it's slightly thickened for two to three minutes. Once your timer for the potatoes goes off, you're going to want to remove the potatoes from the water. We did this with a slotted spoon so that we could reserve some of the water for later in the process when we're making the mashed potatoes. Now that the sauce is thickened, we're going to turn the heat off on the stove and add a tablespoon of butter. Place your strained potatoes in a bowl and mash them with the sour cream and one tablespoon of butter. You can add the water reserved from the pot as needed until the potatoes are smooth and creamy. Then finish them off with some salt and pepper. Toss your green beans in the lemon zest and rosemary that we chopped up earlier. Once you've let the meat rest, you can slice it crosswise and plate it. Here's the final result. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.